Hey everybody, it's Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another video in our cPanel tutorial series. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to drop a database within the PHP MyAdmin tool. If you have an existing database but you need to re-import it, for instance maybe you're restoring a backup, you need to remove all the tables of the database so you can import the file. This does not delete the database itself but drops all the tables in it because you need the database to still be there for the import. The first thing you're going to do is log into the cPanel like I've done here. Now you need to find the databases category and click on the PHP MyAdmin icon. If you're using the old X3 theme, it's about two thirds of the way down, as you can see here. If you're using the new Paper Lantern theme, the databases is right around the top. In this case, it's the second uh, category by default. In either case, click the PHP MyAdmin icon to get to the tool. Now once we're at the tool, we need to actually find the database. So look over to the left-hand sidebar. If you have a single database only in your cPanel, you'll see that name appear at the top. If you have more than one, you're gonna see your cPanel username like I have here. To see the list of databases, just click the little plus sign and you'll get a list of all the databases in the cPanel. Find the one you want to drop and click on it. In this case, we'll check this test database I have here. Now the right hand side is going to show you a list of all the tables in the database. Now we want to drop all of them, so go down underneath the list and find the check all checkbox. Give that a click and you see it places a check next to every single table in the database. Now I go over here to the drop down box and select drop. Alright, and this prepares the query to drop all the tables and it tells you exactly what it's going to do. Drop table 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 and it asks you, do you really want to do this? Be sure that you really want to do this because once you drop them, they're gone. So if you have a backup, that's great. If you're restoring a backup, that's great, but don't just do this on the fly. Uh, if you're sure you want to do it, click the yes button. All right, and now it takes us back to the database, but there's nothing in the list because we don't have any tables. Uh, if you're going to create new ones on the fly, you can do that here, or if you want to import a new file, you can also do that as well. So that's how you drop all the tables of a database without actually deleting the database itself using PHP MyAdmin in the cPanel. Thanks for joining us for our cPanel tutorial series. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Also, don't forget to leave any comments or questions you have in the comment section below so we can bring you future videos. Thanks and see you next time. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.